<laughs> no, how we fun? Hi! Hello! Okay, so we have a special guest on our channel today. We have Miss Courtney Rott. Hi. Who is the director and writer of Blue Bottles and Unveiled, which I have mentioned in my film. YouTube video, not film. But today, we have something exciting planned. She's going to explain it to y'all. Oh, she is. Okay. She's camera shy, guys. Exciting news. Okay, so we're going to be using Switch Beauty products in our phone. <laughs> And um, today we're going to be showing you just some simple looks you can do with the same products we're going to be using. Um, so yeah. Yeah, so we want to say a huge thank you to Switch Beauty for allowing us to use your products. Woo. We had to get brand release, which is a thing in the film industry. So thank you Switch Beauty. And we're just going to kind of showcase the versatility of their products. <laughs> and Miss Wright will be our schmodel for Fondag. And yeah, so we're going to do the... This, this little thing. Yeah, this is the Slay for Days, which is their, was it the first eyeshadow palette? Hmm. I don't believe it was their first, is what it looks like. It is a dupe for the Morph 35O. It even has a mirror so you can travel on the go. And then it has the palette name here. Very cute. I like the white packaging, it reminds of the Jack and Hill, very chic. But my OCD though was white. <laughs> so we're gonna do two eye looks today. Uh, I think let's go grungy on one. Grungy on one, yes. Eyes. And then like cute day look on the other. Okay, okay, so we're gonna zoom in. Okay, so I talk to him about the film while well, I do Why makeup. Are you not in this video with I you? am, I am, I am. People of the world, please comment below how her face should be in this video too, thank you. <clears throat> so I guess it's like a little chit chatty somewhat of a tutorial. One thing you guys can learn is when you prime the eyes, you don't necessarily have to use an eyeshadow primer. You can use a concealer, which is what I'm going to use on her face, her eyes, today. Tell them about Unveiled. Okay. Unveiled is our last film for the year. Woohoo! Um, it is a story of hope and it is a story of healing. Um, we tackle the issue of gender-based violence, which is something our whole crew is super passionate about. Um, so yeah, what do you think? I think it's a very relevant topic. Um, and I think when you guys watch the film, which you will because you guys are loyal people, um, it shows the, the triggers within a relationship. And I think a lot of people forget that a relationship can also be toxic. Um, but I don't want to give too much away either, you know what I mean? Yeah. Okay. So Miss Courtney Wright has bought us her Switch Beauty products. So why do you like Switch Beauty from like a non-makeup artist okay. standpoint? They are. Three reasons why I love Switch Beauty. Okay. Number one, they are cruelty free. Woo! Yes. She's like me. She's a vegan too. We're both vegan. We bond over vegan tofu. things. We are tofu. <laughs> um, number two, they are affordable. Yes, my friends, affordable. And number three, they are high quality. Ah. <laughs> it's not rehearsed. I'm just very nervous. Okay, so one thing I want to point out that I really like about this, if you are a makeup artist, it is so easy to fold over and then you literally have the palette here and it looks super professional. Um, this palette retails for $4.50 I believe. Um, and when you're getting 35 shades, that's like 12 rand a shade. I mean, you don't get cheaper than that. That's cheaper than Essence. So what I'm doing for this eye, this is the grungy eye. I've primed it. Now I'm going to go into the shade Aisha or Aisha, just to set it. So you're going to go into a shade that is the same skin tone. So I've gone into, whoopsies, into the shade here, just to set the eyeball. So what gave you the inspiration for the script? Tell me. Okay, so truthfully, when this term started, your girl wanted to do zombies. <laughs> and Mercedes was like, mm, cool. <laughs> but then she was like, hey. What if we tackle this huge issue in South Africa right now, gender-based violence? Yeah. And I was like, hmm, okay, I'm into like the things of feminism. Okay, we can like create a badass character. Okay, and then yeah, it was at a crew meeting during the term. The entire crew just kind of bounced off each other until we ended up with the unveiled concept. And what like um, inspired the name? Behind unveiled. Oh, that was also you. <laughs> <laughs> um, okay, so throughout the film, you're gonna see the protagonist Delilah. She's going to be. She's gonna have like layers added to herself um, from her boyfriend, and it's like layers of him, layers of Mantla. And um, 
the story follows how she kind of needs to learn to love herself again and choose herself. So throughout, we're going to see these layers added to her. And then we'll see her take these layers off when she chooses to love herself and like get back to who she is as a person because she had lost herself to the relationship. So that's the story behind the name. Okay. So just a quick update on the makeup. What I've done is I'm going into these two like warm shades to create a transition shade. And that's just going to help blend the dark colour into the light colour. So what we're going to do is I'm just creating like an orangey warm tone. And because Courtney's got like smaller eyes, I'm not going to go super dark because we don't want her to look like a raccoon. <laughs> but yeah. So, Miss Rice, since your relationship, your relationship, your story is about relationships and dangerous relationships, toxic relationships. And if you guys don't follow the Instagram handle, it will be linked below. They do a lot of polls and stuff. Have you ever found yourself in a toxic relationship? Oof. Oof. Real that, talk. that just took a turn. <laughs> Uh, yes, I have. Um, so, do you want me to elaborate? <laughs> it's up to you. <clears throat> what I'm um, doing now, quickly, I'm going to interrupt you, so I'm going into one of the Switch Beauty brushes. These are very cute. I'm going to show you guys. They even have the, the brand. I don't know if y'all can see with the light, but they got a little branding on it. Super cute. And I'm going to go into a dark shade while she talks to you guys. Okay, so I think everyone to some capacity has been in some form of toxic relationship, whether it be psychological, mental, physical, sexual, whichever. Um, even with family or friends, like, mm -hmm. I think everyone's going to be able to relate to this topic because we've all been hurt by someone. Um, yeah. So I think that's our audience. Like Whether they've been in a toxic romantic relationship or not, they're still going to be able to <clears throat> identify with Delilah as a character. I have a question to ask you. Have you used these brushes since we cleaned them? No. Okay. I was keeping them clean. Okay. This, the girl, this girl makes me... Okay, never mind. She makes me wash my brushes a lot. I've already washed Because hygiene. It's a thing, guys. It's a thing. It is a thing. It's it is a thing. Please wash change. your brushes. 2,000 years later. So that's why I think this film is like... For everyone, you know? If that makes sense. Does that make sense? It does make sense. Question for you. Okay. <laughs> Tell me about the aesthetic challenge of this film. Timing. <laughs> That's the biggest one. So when you guys watch this film, which you will, um, you'll notice there's a lot of costume and makeup changes, which I'm so excited for. But the time... Oh, I spat so hard on you. <laughs> Luckily, we're friends. But... Um, the time I have to do it. So normally I like to take my time doing makeup. Those who know me or work with me know this. And I don't have that luxury. Um, Miss Rack was not <laughs> shy when giving me 10 costume and makeup changes. 10. 10. So it's going to be a very interesting day. But I'm looking forward to the challenge. I'm hoping that what I have in mind and what I've planned and stuff translates onto camera. Which I think it will. Like through the test shoots and stuff. I think it will. I'm excited. I mean, I'm nervous, but I'm excited. Mm. Just something so that you guys know, like, how this thing works, okay? This is an exam, mm -hmm. and we have been prepping for, <clears throat> like, six weeks? Yeah. Six weeks. And then um, that's all the pre-production stuff. Um, so on the day, we only get 12 hours to shoot the entire thing. Mm -hmm. No matter... How many things go wrong, you need to finish in those 12 hours. So we are shooting on Monday the 25th from 12 midday to midnight. So think of us. Yeah. <laughs> uh, and we'll be sleeping the entire Tuesday. Well, shame. Part of our crew has an exam on yeah, Tuesday. Yeah. So then it'll go into editing on Tuesday. Sorry, Kiara, our editor. Um, and then it'll go into grade and sound and visual effects and then back to editing. And then we have a film. Which will be released to you guys Woo! on what date? On Friday the 6th of, six six of December. Woo! So it'll be like an early Christmas present. Yes, you're welcome. Merry Christmaka. Merry Christmaka. Yeah. I'm going to pretend I know what that is. It's like Christmas and Hanukkah in one, bro. Oh, at the <laughs> same time? Was it you? Uh, no. Sometimes it can over that. So what I've done is I've made it quite grungy. Not soups grungy, but... One thing to note with the Switch Beauty products, which I don't think is an issue at all, is there is fallout. So you can see the glitter under her eye. That's fine. That just means that the palette's quite pigmented. That's why you see she doesn't have any foundation on. We've done her makeup first so we can clean it up. Then we put foundation on. She's going to look like a bougie bitch. 
So Woo! I don't want to make it too dark because we aren't going to put lashes on and we had this discussion prior. Reason being is I feel like we need to be able to achieve looks without lashes. Look, I love me a good lash. They complete a look. But if you are on a rush, you don't necessarily have time to put lashes on. If you're on a rush? Oh, if, you, if you're in a rush. In a rush. Yeah, I said in. You said on. Okay, well. She said on. If you're in or on a rush, you don't necessarily have time to put lashes on. It's also a skill set that a lot of people don't have and I don't mean that in an insulting way. Lashes are rather peculiar to put on. So, I mean, if we can achieve a look without lashes, I feel like we've done a good a good thing, you know? So I'm going to go and say flat brush. The best way to add shimmer is with like a flat packing brush. Kind of looks like that. I don't know if y'all can see, sorry. Just because it's damp, so it picks up the most product. And I think we're going to go in with Amy. Ooh. Ooh, I like Amy. Let's see. Amy looks fun. It's a bit dark. I don't want that. Mm. Okay, yeah, we'll go in with a little bit of Amy and Jamie together. We're rounding. Amy and Jamie. Okay, so I'm going to zoom you guys in just so you can kind of see the fallout situation. Oh, wow. <laughs> Attractive. <laughs> see, that's fallout there, but that is so easy to fix. And yeah. Okay, so we are back. One thing I want to quickly show you guys is I filled her brow off camera. And one thing that's really cool about this palette is <clears throat> if you look at the bottom row, I will add a close-up of the palette now. There's all of these gorgeous browns. They've got like different undertones, really undertones, cool undertones, warm undertones, like all the undertones. So you can literally do your brows with this palette as well, no matter your hair color. If you're blonde, or these light browns, if you're dark, like this palette just really is an all-rounder and it has a dope ass mirror. So this hour we're gonna do a lot more of a daytime wearable look, maybe. Yeah, so like I'm going on a date. Okay, but like, that's a data. No, in like a park. Oh, like okay. a daytime date. So like very relaxed. Yes. Okay. But also like, look at me. Okay. You know? So we're gonna go into the shade here called Amber. Ooh. And we're just gonna, you know. Oh, this is so pretty. So I'm just gonna do a very soft halo eye, which is one of my favorite eye looks. And then I'm going to go back into their brush, which we quickly cleaned off camera strategically. <laughs> um, and I'm gonna go into the shade, I think, let's go into the shade Lizetti. Liz Liz which is this like orangey hue, red. Just to slightly deepen this up. So Courtney is doing directing and screenwriting at Afra. Yes. So let's give you a little bit of insight into Afra because I don't think I've ever actually spoken about Afra okay. on the channel. So it's a film school. Mm -hmm. um, you can either major in film and TV or in live performance or you can, um, yeah, be those calm. three. And BCom, but, but no one does BCom. <laughs> Oh, no, well, we they do, but like you don't go to after to do BCom. Now listen, but anyway, so imagine a place where everyone's a creative. Okay, that'll give you the vibe. Everyone is literally batshit crazy. Yeah. Um. So that's cool. Uh, so, you could write it. Yeah. Yeah. Um. Yeah. So I'm doing screenwriting and directing with a little bit of production design on the side. What is production design? Production design. Oof. Production design. Because a lot of people don't know what that is. So, it's everything pretty and aesthetic you see in the scene. So, the couches, the bedroom, however it's set up, whatever, like, little clues and hints there are, like, books or whatever about the character. It's literally trying to get the audience to understand who they're watching. So, you must study your character, know your character, know the type of person they are. So, like, Mercedes... <coughs> sorry. <laughs> Mercedes... Tell us about like who Delilah is and how you're strategically using production design in the film. Okay, so for those of you who don't know, I'm doing production design and CMS, which is costume, makeup, and styling at AFTA. And the reason why I'm doing that is I want to kind of expand my makeup knowledge because I've done it already outside of AFTA. I've got the qualification, so now let me get a degree. So Delilah, our protagonist, is a dancer, first and foremost. Um, and we kind of, through the production design, we want to show the progression of her mental states and the relationship. I don't want to give too much away because I do really want you guys to watch it, but you'll see through the use of color. Color is mm. our biggest semi or like use of meaning in our film. Yeah. How the use of color kind of just changes as her relationship progresses. Um, and color, I think, is one of the most amazing tools to communicate meaning. So it wasn't difficult to get into the inner psyche of Delala um, because, yeah, I think we've all been there. I don't know what else to say. Designing yeah. her. That was kind of difficult, like figuring out all her costumes and costume changes that would make sense with the film and with our time constraints. Mm. That was probably the most difficult part. Um, <clears throat> and let's talk to them about our cast, since our cast isn't Ooh. here. Ooh. So, my fave. Um, if you've been following our journey, 
I use Drew <laughs> nearly all the time. Drew Bailey, she is my favourite actress ever and she's also a friend so it works out. It works. Um, she is a professional dancer. Yeah, so that's why we decided to incorporate dance in the film. Mm, Longelo is the biggest teddy bear. Like, mm. so cute. Like, but don't uh, underestimate his talent. Yo. He can play a dark character. Yes, exactly. Ooh. He's oh, so talented and like, it's been so fun seeing him dance. Yes, getting out of his comfort zone. Yes, and like making him do like this crazy set, like picking Drew up and We haven't held around. back with him, hey? No. And he's taken every challenge yeah. like a trooper. And I'm just like, hey, look, look can you, how about doing this? And he's like, come again. <laughs> yeah. So what I'm doing now is I'm just gonna, I'll zoom in. Cool. You can't really see, but close your eye. I've done a soft halo eye and I'm just gonna cut the inner portion, just so that the gold that we're gonna put in is a little bit more poppy because she said we're going to pop, but we're there. Yes. So the coolest and like easiest way to do a cut crease, whether it's a halo eye or a cut crease, is to close. Put a little bit of your concealer on, open your eye and look up, and then close. And where that hits is normally where the um, the glitter will start being seen when your eyes open. Because you don't want to do a cut crease and then when your eyes open you can't see all the pretty glitter, you know? So what, what was the motivation behind blue bottles? For those of us, for those oh, who don't really know your well. style. So my style, oh, sorry, I've That's opened okay. my armhole, um, is very experimental. <clears throat> Excuse my throat, I'm like, I don't know how to avoid this. Damn. Um, yeah. So I like artsy things, like, I don't know, I don't like conventional, writing conventional stories. I like it to be kind of like out there and crazy and out mm. the So with Blue Bottles, we explored the effects of plastic pollution and we um, personified the problem through a mermaid um so yeah mermaid fantasy vibes that's definitely my vibe i feel like mm. i like fantasy things she this one can i just tell you side note is pressuring me <laughs> to find a companion because you guys are really pressuring you we're I'm getting old like it, well, yeah, we both of us because we're not telling you how old we are but we're, old, we're up yeah. there um, and this one keeps trying to get me to go on dates. Not to get with anyone, just to get out of your comfort zone. Dating is scary, guys, are scary. Oof, I, mm -mm. It, yeah. So we're gonna, you can kind of see, but not crazy. What we're gonna do is go off camera, do her foundation, and then we'll come back and talk about the other stuff. And also sad notes, <laughs> before she switches me off. <laughs> so now you can see, uh, no, it's back in. <laughs> now you can, whoa, she's stuck, you can even see my frown lines. Now you can see how the like filled eyebrow is versus the not filled eyebrow. Sorry, they haven't been threaded in a while. And just so you know, for my hair colour and eye colour, we used those two shades down there. Ah, look me human. <laughs> okay, so we did the under eye, we did her face. She looks a little bit more put together. We'll do a close a little up. bit. <laughs> we'll do a close up on everything once we've done the full face. Now we're gonna go into my personal favourite part of makeup. The highlight, Woo. and we're going in with the glowgasm. Yes, and for favorite. those of you who have followed my channel, you know that this is literally my favorite highlighter palette in history. So, we're gonna get straight on into the highlight. And should we do one side, one color, one side, one color to show the versatility of the palette? Yeah. So, for the grungy side, we're gonna go, we're gonna go there. So, I'm gonna go into the shade Creme Brulee and Champagne. I'm not showing you <laughs> Creme Brulee and Champagne Showers, and we're just gonna put that on. And the amazing thing about this palette is it really is suited for so many different skin tones, which I love. The Shine palette, which I have as well, is probably better for darker skin tones, but it's about damn time. Okay, so you can look at look at that. That's dry. And then what we're going to do with a small brush is we're going to go into the shade, I think let's go into the shade Lids AF. And we're just going to put it on her brow bone, close to me. Okay, and then for the inner corner, I'm going to mix the same two on her cheeks and look that way with the other way. Okay, then for the other side, we'll go a little bit more natural. And we're gonna go into the shade called Diamond Walk, which is the center shade here. This is just, look at that. It's like a soft, naturally, like, ha, huh, ha, huh, look at that. <laughs> and then I'm gonna go into the shade because we haven't used, see, caviar is gonna be too gold. Mm -hmm. So I'm gonna go into Creme Brulee, because it's one of my personal faves. And I'm gonna put that down the bridge of her nose. I love, I love highlighter. And then Galakasumi. 
I'm going to make <laughs> that's ticklish and <laughs> then I'll make her top lip appear slightly bigger and fuller and then for her uh, what is this part of her body called her brow bone mm. we're going to go into the shade Lits Diamond Walk and Creme Brulee again Cleopatra is that you? No, okay <laughs> Okay, lip color. This is a hard one. Whew. What are we thinking? Okay, first of all, it's the oh yeah, the Switch Ulti Matte Palette. Very cute. And one little trick for you guys that we did is if you are like me and you're quite like a germ, not a germaphobe, a knee freak, mm. you just put it back in the macro oven, like spread it around, and it looks and it resets to this. So what color should we use? I don't know. Listen, I'm feeling a darker lip. <laughs> a darker lip. Yeah. I'd say between those three. Yeah, we. Oh, that we might gonna... be too purple though. I know it's your okay. favorite. <laughs> okay. Kay. So the one just before it, maybe. Okay. So we're gonna mix. So what we're gonna do because sanitary. Although this is Courtney's personal palette, we are using this on set. So for sanitary reasons, we're gonna depart the lipstick using a spatula because we don't want to get infections. And as a professional makeup artist, you never use the lipstick on people's lips. It's just at you. So we're gonna take a little bit, scrape a tiny bit of this dark shade. Only a tiny bit, and a tiny bit of this really shade. Again, only a tiny bit. And I'm gonna put it on the inside of the palette because why the hell not? Okay, we're just gonna mix it all together. And we're gonna see, do we like it? Oh, is that too dark? Oof. Okay, oh, I'm, I'm gonna add a more. little bit of a light color. Just so that it matches this uh, It eye looks a like bit so more. disturbing just on that part of my lip right now. Please fix it. Okay. Let's okay. Hey. And we have ba -ba -ba -ba, the finished product. Yes. Look at the, look at the snack attack. So we're gonna zoom in on the eyeballs. Okay. Okay, so there we go, and you're talking through the eye, well, eye wall, never mind. So we did this very soft halo eye, like super soft and natural because like we said, it's a date. And then this eye here was more of a smoky eye. So you can see we highlighted the heck out of this one to open it up a bit more because it was quite a dark eye. Whereas this we left more natural, but I mean, you could put a popping highlight in if you wanted to. We're going to show you her highlight, so it turns, oh, and then the other side, oh. So you can just see that's the versatility of Switch. So, why did we choose Switch Beauty? Why did we approach Switch Beauty? So, now that she's looking like a cam god. <laughs> because they are my fave. We've been through this. Yeah. We've been through but this. But why Switch three... Beauty? Because, oh, okay. Big one, big one. They are a group of badass females. And we are a group of badass females. Um, so that was a major factor. It's a proudly South African brand. It's a female brand. It's just that mm, mm, mm. And Mercedes and I, um, we're besties. I think it's official. <laughs> but um, so we are really inspired by like girl bosses and we, we've decided to like surround ourselves with like ultimate girl bosses and Switch Beauty, you are up there for us. We, yeah, that's it, right? Yeah. Can you come back and rhyme, please? Okay, so. Yeah, 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 yeah. yeah. I'm hoping next to the snack now. Look at this. She's looking like a snack. And I'm looking like a dead walrus. A but, walrus. A walrus. A walrus. <laughs> so, yeah, that is. Oh, I'll sneak in there. So, me. Essentially, our video. We just wanted to kind of do a video showcasing Switch Beauty's products, their versatility, why we like them, and then give a little bit of insight into Akka Film. Right? Yeah, switch me to mm. So yeah, if you guys like this, if you're kind of intrigued by the concept of our film, I have linked um, X... No. X Nahalo Creative, which is more. But I will link her channel down below. It was in my previous video as well. Um, oh, Blue oh. Bottles is already on X Nahalo. I'm getting distracted. <laughs> yeah, <I'll squeeze. laughs> so X Nah, oh, Blue Bottles is already on X Nahalo. I have also linked the unveiled Instagram handle below for you guys to follow to keep up or catch up with all of our pre prod, our characters, our actors, all of that sweet stuff. Roo. And yeah, thank you guys for sitting through this long video. If you're, yes. you're still sitting here, and also vote for which eye you like better. Yeah. And like, tell us your, your thoughts, you know? Yeah, interact. Interact. And yeah, don't forget to like, subscribe, share on this channel and on X Nahalo. Follow Instagram, all the channels will be linked down below. And the most important part, guys, is be kind to every kind, yes. including yourself. 
Aww, self-love journey. Exactly. Woo. And we're off. Bye. Bye.